Well, hi everyone, Steve Patterson here from PhotoshopEssentials.com. In this video, I'll show you five easy ways to move an image from one document to another in Photoshop, an essential skill for blending and compositing images. I'll be using Photoshop CC, but any recent version will work. Let's get started. So here I have two images open in Photoshop. Here's my first image, and if I click on the Document tab at the top, we see my second image. Both images were downloaded from Adobe Stock. Well, let's say I want to blend this texture image in with the portrait. To do that, both images need to be in the same document, but at the moment, they're in separate documents. Let's see how to move an image from one document to another. The first way is by copying and pasting the image. Select the document that holds the image you want to move by clicking on its tab. Then select the image by going up to the Select menu in the menu bar, and choosing All. A selection outline appears around the image. To copy it, go up to the Edit menu and choose Copy. Switch to the document where you want to paste the image by clicking on its tab. Then go back up to the Edit menu and this time choose Paste. And now my texture image appears in the document. It looks like it's the only image in the document, but that's because the texture is now blocking the portrait from view. If we look in the Layers panel, we see that the original portrait image is sitting on the background layer, and Photoshop has placed the texture image on a new layer above it. If I turn the texture layer off by clicking its visibility icon, we see the original photo. And if I click again on the visibility icon, we're back to seeing the texture. I'll blend the two images together at the end of the video. For now, I'll delete the texture from the document by dragging its layer down onto the trash bin at the bottom of the Layers panel. The second way to move an image from one document to another is by duplicating the layer. First, I'll switch back to my texture document since that's the image I want to move. We can still see the selection outline around it, which we no longer need, so I'll remove it by going up to the Select menu and choosing Deselect. Then to duplicate the image, go up to the Layer menu and choose Duplicate Layer. In the Duplicate Layer dialog box, give your layer a name. I'll name mine Texture. In the Destination section, choose the document that you want to move the image into. I'll choose my Portrait document. Click OK to close the dialog box. Switch over to your other document by clicking its tab. And here we find the image. Again, my texture is blocking the portrait from view, but we can see in the Layers panel that both images are now part of the same document. And we see that the texture appears on a layer named Texture, which is what I named it in the Duplicate Layer dialog box. I'll delete the texture so we can look at the third way to move the image by once again dragging it down onto the trash bin. The third way to move an image is by dragging and dropping it from one document to the other. I'll switch back over to my texture document. Then I'll select the Move tool from the toolbar. With the Move tool selected, I'll click on the texture image and I'll drag it up and onto the tab of the other image. Keep your mouse button held down and your cursor over the tab until Photoshop switches to the other document. Then drag down into the document window. To drop the image into the document, press and hold the Shift key on your keyboard and release your mouse button. The Shift key centers the image within the document. If you don't need to center it, release your mouse button without holding Shift. And again, we now have both images in the same document, and we can see both of them in the Layers panel. I'll delete the texture image, this time by pressing the Backspace key on a Windows PC or the Delete key on a Mac. We've learned how to drag and drop an image from one document into another. This time, let's learn how to do the same thing using one of Photoshop's multi-document layouts. You'll find them by going up to the Window menu and choosing Arrange. And here we see different layouts depending on how many images you have open. Since I have two open images, I'll choose Two Up Vertical. This places both documents side by side on the screen. Again, I'll select the Move tool from the toolbar. Then I'll click on the texture image and I'll drag it over into the portrait document. I'll press and hold my Shift key to center the image within the document and then I'll release my mouse button. 
Again, Photoshop drops the image into place. To switch from the two up vertical view back to the standard view, go back up to the window menu, choose Arrange, and then choose Consolidate All to Tabs. And now we're back to seeing only one document at a time. We're viewing my portrait document at the moment, and we know that because we can see its name in the tab. And we see in the Layers panel that both images are once again in the same document. I'll delete the texture image by pressing Backspace on a Windows PC or Delete on a Mac. Finally, let's learn how to drag and drop an image between floating document windows. Go up to the Window menu, choose Arrange, and then choose Float All in Windows. This opens each image in its own floating window. You can switch between them by clicking inside the windows, and you can resize the windows by dragging the bottom right corners. To move the texture image into the portrait window, I'll make sure I have the Move tool selected from the toolbar. Then I'll click in the texture window to make it active, and I'll simply click and drag the texture into the portrait window. I'll hold my Shift key, and then I'll release my mouse button to center the texture within the document. Now that I've moved the image, I'll switch back to the standard document view by once again going up to the Window menu, choosing Arrange, and then choosing Consolidate All to Tabs. And again, we see both images, each on their own separate layers, within the same document. So now that we've looked at all five ways to move an image from one document to another, let's look at how to blend the two images together. For that, all we need to do is change the blend mode for the top layer. Again, looking in the Layers panel, we see my texture image sitting above the portrait. The Blend Mode option is found in the upper left. By default, the Blend Mode is set to Normal, which just means that the currently selected layer, my texture layer, is not blending with the layer below it at all. But well, you can try out different blend modes to see which one works best with your images. In my case, I'll choose Soft Light. And just by changing the blend mode, my texture is now blending in with the portrait. If the effect is too strong, you can fade the top image by lowering its opacity. I'll lower mine down to 50%. And there we have it. That's five easy ways to move an image from one document to another and how to blend the two images together in Photoshop. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to like it, share it, and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm Steve Patterson from PhotoshopEssentials.com.